Hello everyone and welcome back to Close Combat The Bloody First uh, where we're, I think we're gonna be continuing on the same map except this time the Germans will have captured or will have uh, possession of the objective here that they captured in the previous battle that I wasn't able to deny them from getting unfortunately we're on the defensive again force balance is in favor of the enemy once again but it's just infantry on both sides uh, Force composition, I've actually chosen to uh, add a mortar. I've uh, taken the entirety of 1st uh, platoon out and replaced them with a uh, fresh 2nd platoon. I'm not sure if I can reinforce, uh, like replace casualties at all, or if that's something that might happen later, or, or that I don't have access to yet, I'm not sure. But I've chosen to uh, put a fresh uh, platoon into action here. Two uh, 30 cal MGs in support, another 30 cal here from 4th platoon, and a 60 millimeter mortar, in addition to the three rifle squads, all divided into two teams, and platoon HQ here. Let's see how uh, how that goes. <coughs> if I'd used 1st uh, platoon again, I would have had to deal with the, uh, uh, the casualties that I'd taken from the first battle, but... I would also have more experience in those troops because they had already had one fight. These guys are completely green once again. Now, let's see. The enemy can deploy further forward this time. I really want to hold them back. <coughs> as far as I possibly can, and I definitely do not want them holding... Uh, Capturing 0.290. 30 cal has a pretty poor, pretty poor field of fire from here. I'm not sure why that is. Must be because this little hill is in the way. Um, well, let's set up the mortar first. <coughs> I can put them in a uh, indirect fire roll. Put them just behind this little, kind of in this little pit. I don't think they should be able to be seen from anywhere on the map. Nope. I can use them to rain down some fire on those nasty enemy MG positions. Platoon HQ, I think I'll set up next to the mortars. Keep in communication with each other. Alright. 30 cal here, BAR here. Rifle team there. Just putting them there for organization's purposes. Rifle team to the right. BAR team to the right. BAR team and rifle team in the center. In the center. Okay. I think right here I'll stick to my guns. And the BAR team. Or actually, a rifle team. <coughs> Excuse me. Up here. Let's see what they can see from there. Quite a lot, actually. That's a pretty good position, I'd say, for the right flank. Uh, so let's get a 30 cal oriented that way, except behind these rocks. They also have a pretty okay field of fire from there. And I'll use this BR team up here. Put them in a position later. Um, Good forward deploy up here. Save with the BAR team. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. They couldn't even see the objective here, actually. <coughs> so they'd basically be waiting for an enemy to move up on top of this hill and shoot down into them. And I don't really think that's a good idea. 
I could move them up here, which is risky, but will give me a better field of fire. Both up here to the objective and up here to this hill. Right, in previous battle, the MG seems to have a pretty good position up here. Even though it seems like they can't see a thing, they can actually cover these hilltops here, which is pretty important. The rifle team here. I think I'll keep them uh, sort of in reserve up here. Move them uh, to where they're needed later. Alright, another 30 cal. Here. What can they see? Not a lot. Not a lot, but they can't see the hilltops. They can't see the hilltops here. And that is the most important, I think. Rifle team, let's get one rifle team up here. <coughs> Could get them up here, but they got killed pretty quickly in the last battle. Sitting up there. So I won't do that. I think I'll just have to accept that the enemy is going to be able to get close. I've got to let them get close. Let them get close. Let them get on top of these hills. And surprise them with uh, pretty heavy volume of fire. I think that'll have to do it in HQ. Get rifleman in position. The yeah, in position. This is going to be it. These guys are going to be pretty critical. Yeah, immediately we see the enemy. Let's see yeah, what we can do. I'd actually like them to be in cover. A little bit more. And... Oh boy. Over there. Ah, oh, shoot, they're on the hill there. It's a very good position for them. Probably should have taken that option into account. I think I'm actually going to rain down some mortars up there, because that's a really dangerous position. See if they can reach that. I really want these guys to be there. I'm not sure if they're going to do that. It's got 24 HG rounds. Still setting up though. So there must have been a right way to make it. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't tell you to move, did I? They'll uh, close in on the target there in a minute. There's a lot of troops there. I'd actually be using fresh troops as well. I don't know. Couple more 
those, and they will be destroyed. Nice rifle grenade as well. Watch these as well. Got a check in there. Really nice. They got a good position there, but they're really close as well. It's always the, uh, the dilemma. That's a really nice place to put a machine gun. You can see it a lot. But it's also a nice scene. All of these goes up. They're getting peppered right now. Look at that. I'm not sure how they're not taking care of some mortar rounds like that. That, I think I'm gonna shift fire in the morning. Try and hit these squads because they're pretty damn close together. So a near miss on this one might hit that guy. Alright. Shells are already going out. Pretty fast to trigger that. These guys are just moving in the area, so that might be. Excellent guard, they're missing by a mile. This first shot is not very accurate. Let's see. Give him another one, guys. This is really a force multiplier right here. We get some good hits on in with that artillery. Let's see what it lands. Short. Another Get casualty here. here. I think we're in a better position now, though, than we were in the previous battle. That's getting closer. And I think it might have been good to use a mortar in the previous battle as well. That indirect fire is invaluable. It's so important. The enemy doesn't seem to have a good. And if they do, they're not using it. Boom. Direct hit. <coughs> I think we ended up one. Still. Those casualties add up. Boom, another one. Excellent shooting on that mortar. These guys are moving up here, though. I'll say Crescent will be able to engage. So next to actually uh, move up into cover here. I think once they press this hill, they'll be in for a nice surprise. If they do. Alright, let's see. Uh, he's going to be retreating. Move complete. So maybe a mortar uh, target that uh, Panzer Grenadier squad over there. Oh, I don't think we're doing bad. Can't really see what's happening on the reverse slope here. But, uh, what I can see is pretty good. Let's see if that mortar not. Ooh, that nearly took out the position actually there. Yeah. Yep. Just like I thought, the moment these guys crest the hill, they suddenly come as a view of a lot of troops that they didn't see before. And they get destroyed. That might actually have been a good idea from the get go. Especially if you lure the enemy in close before you engage them. Because at those long ranges, their MGs really do a number of us. That's a close one already, just a second ago. Another enemy down there. I mean, I don't want to speak before my turn, but if we keep this up, we might be able to take back the date stand there. But I'll uh, remain in defensive posture for now. Five rounds left in those quarters. Let's see if we can get a direct hit there. 
right now they're hitting the road. That's it. That's it. No, I don't like that. We should have casualties there. There we go. I really, I don't understand how this is just causing one casualty. That's a direct hit with more. That should be decimating them. <coughs> okay, it looks like that was all the mortar rounds we have. Last one did cause another casualty there. Great. I think we're doing really good here. Gotta hang back for now though. As many casualties as we can before we try moving up. Because this is all we can see, but for all we know there could be a lot more on the reverse slope here and here. Get movement here now. Could be uh, someone to reverse up here. Could be walking right through that bush. Well, I'm a lot happier about this battle so far than the previous one. I think we took. Uh... Okay, I can be more casualties than I thought here, but. At least three casualties then, and I'm one here as well, I think. Oh, multiple here. That MG up there really hurt them, I think. But we took some more casualties than I actually thought. But I think we're actually uh, killing more of the enemy than they're killing of us right now. And if I could just get that conflict of the commander. That would be awesome. He keeps moving back and forth here, exposing himself to fire. Would be a really nice get. As a grenadier's moving up here. Get these guys <coughs> just over the ridge here. Let's see if they can see it down into the objective. I think they can. They can see something, that's for sure. Okay, got some movement up here. These guys can see him, they're not firing. I'm not sure why. Are they saving ammo? He's really low. He's really low on ammo. I'm not sure if they can pick up ammo from their uh, fallen comrades. It would be nice if they've got a lot of ammo between them. Actually, I think there's... Uh, oh, these guys could do casualties too. Damn. I think I'm going to move them around and up here as well. Now that we've kind of got the uh, fire superiority here. Three guys, uh, correction, two guys aren't gonna I cut it, I think. Take it anymore. Get me out of here. You can't take it anymore. Well, I, I can understand that, honestly. You're really getting a raw end of the deal up there. But I need a team up there to make sure we've got some fire on whatever is down here. <laughs> Our machine gun is doing some work. I can apparently see a little bit of that objective. Okay, these guys are panicked and I can't blame them. Poor guys. Seeing all of their bodies die in front of them. be able to punish them. Now I'm not sure what I can do with this mortar team. I think I'll uh, keep them here because they've only got carbines and, uh, and pistols even. And I want to be able to use them in later battles so I'll keep them back for now. I hope we can take them. <coughs> Seems to be a lot of automatic weapons in the squad here. 
Please shoot him, boys. There, any there we go. I That's one. I thought he was already down, but apparently not. I could take a risk and move these guys up here again. That's a pretty big risk. Because I know what happened last time, but... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's see what, uh, what happens. Let's try that. Let's try and get a crossfire on him. Getting shot at further away now. Get oh. They are causing casualties, so I'm gonna keep it. There we go, guys. That's what I like to see. He's firing up on the side of the enemy. Spencer. Yeah, not a lot of action on the right here. I really want to think twice before I move these guys up again. right there is really stopping me from being able to, uh, to try and go around here. Might try that later. Another casualty right there. That might have been the last guy here. I think it was. Just got these guys left. Okay, they're trading casualties there. Seems we're taking two for every one they're taking. It's just one guy left in the BAR team. I'm gonna have him pull back. Actually, uh, I need the firepower. I'll leave him up. Take more movement up here. If I, could just, if I could just move someone into a position. Or they could get flanking fire on that guy. And these guys here. If I put control here, what can they see? Okay. Yeah, we can really only see them if we move all the way up here. But that might actually be a good idea. Let me, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to make the same mistake I made, la made last time. Whoops. I'm really screwing up the orders here them up piece by piece. I'm not doing anything up here. They're okay, moving back. That's another chance to cause <coughs> Looks like just one guy. Oh boy. Okay. We get some movement up here. That's the platoon commander. Moving up there. I think we'll be able to deal with him. Yeah, we're already fine. Move in here first. Got a little bit more cover. What was he doing? Did I accidentally roll him up? Sure. I think you'll listen, but I'm ordering it there. Okay. Supreme Commander right there. 
understanding is pulling back before we can go on the end of the Guys, born in my son, we got moved back here. Okay. Let's see. Let's get these guys. We have an ambush position here. These guys are seeing them though, so they can take them out. Or at least suppress them. Put these guys in the flank. Yeah, they're moving. If they move up this hill, we might be able to get them in the flank with this VAR. Yeah, we can. Okay, light them up, boys. about to be shut up by two MGs, I think, but oh, yeah, there we go, we're getting them, we're getting them good, complete, already, the timer hasn't run out, did they surrender or something, enemy morale broke and we captured an additional objective, okay, that's great, heavy losses on the enemy's part, but again, we took seven killed, nine wounded, it's, it's less wounded than previous, previously we took 20, but I think the same amount of death, Enemy took 7 dead as well, 17 wounded, but they did, I think, pull back or surrender, and we took that date objective, so that's great. Alright, okay, I think I might be getting the hang of this, uh, went a lot better at least than uh, the previous mission. Okay, well, thanks again for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.